Well, Russ, first of all, last weekend, congratulations. That was a stellar performance, really, by Harris. Yeah, yeah, really good. Um, you know, you like to think we're just getting better and better now um, at the right time. But um, yeah, for in an isolation uh, game, it was, it was an excellent performance. It's been a long time, I would contend, since there's been as good a Harris performance as that, really. Yeah, yeah, probably one of the best in my uh, tenure at football club. I thought we were, we were fast out of the blocks, dynamic, strong. Um, and very well disciplined against a top, top team. And over the two games, Alfred and Kings Lynn, you proved you can deal with both aspects really, because they were two very different games. Yes, they were. Um, and that's the playoffs for you. You know, it's like a cup competition, really. Um, it's whoever's better on the day, and we'll have the same again on Sunday. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to do it the hard way with three away games. But, um, like I said, our away form's very good. So, uh, essentially now, 46 league games, two playoff games, 48 games, it comes down to one, the 49th. Yeah, yeah, it's been um, been a mammoth season, lots of emotion, um, lots of ups and downs, um, but the last two months have been fantastic and we want to finish the job off now. Um, we're not coming in on Sunday to make the numbers up, we're, we're, we're going there to win the game, so um, you know, we're confident but we're also very respectful as well. It has been a remarkable turnaround in the last couple of months, hasn't it really? Yeah, yeah, it's been really good. Um, it's down to the lads to be honest, you know, I've just managed them and but they've, they've churned out results and churned out performances week in, week out for the last probably 10 weeks, to be honest. We didn't get the rub of the green in, the, in a couple of draws we had before the Farsley game. Um, and it's just gone bit by bit, better by better. And um, it's been great. And, you know, the, we've kept a fresh squad, we've kept them fit, and we've just nurtured them the last two months. And probably across the season, you've seen both aspects really. You know, when you're on a bad trot, it's quite difficult to get out of it. When you're on a good run, such as you're on now, confidence grows. And just snowballs, really. Yeah, we've gone from one extreme to the other. Our bad runs have been bad, and our good, run, good runs have been very good. Um, there's been no in between, really. Um, but like I said, you, you've got to be judged at the end of the season, and it's been a good season. Um, if you look at the league table and you and you look at where we are now, we're one game um, potentially away from getting promoted. Um, but it's probably got to be our toughest game of the season on Sunday. Um, no doubt about that. Um, respect Gaz and, and, and their group a lot. Um, got a lot of good players and they've been in this position before, so um, you know it's the toughest game for that reason. Yes, yeah, so a word about Bradley Town. Uh, obviously, they've been up there for most of the season in, in the playoff places, haven't they? Really? Yeah, always have been. I've, done, I've been since I've been at this level for the last four years. Um, and that's why they're a tough nut to crack, and they're going to be on Sunday. Uh, and they've got the advantage of being at home, um, but our advantage is our away form this season and the form we're on now. So um, you know we're going to bounce into that game and we're going to, we're going to hit it full on. In terms of the way it might pan out on Sunday, do you see it being more of a Kings Lynn type game than an Alfredton type game? Oh, tough one, tough one, I'm not sure. Um, watching their game on Sunday, I thought they were really good, Brackley. I thought they were disciplined, um, very organised, and, and probably deserved the victory overall. So um, I don't know, is there going to be any game plans on Sunday? I'm not sure. I just know what our game plan is, and we've just got to keep the, uh, the flow going of, of our last two months' performances, really. You're not exactly going to be lacking in confidence though, we're going to this one, aren't we? Such a good run. No, I hope not. Like I said, we're, we're, we're hitting form at the right time and um, you know, we're scoring goals, we're not conceding many, so it's a good recipe at the moment, but I know it's all down to one game. It's a one-off game now, it's 90 minutes and um, yeah, made the best team win. How much of it is about which side handles the occasion better? Because it is a big occasion. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a good percentage of that. Um, and we'll, we'll see after 90 minutes, it's very, it's very hard to say now what, what, what will happen on the day. I just know it's two, two good teams coming together on a day in a cup final. Um, and that's what it is, it's a cup final on, on Sunday and um, the winner gets the prize. Perhaps not surprisingly, Harry's ticket allocation sold out very rapidly. Uh, you've had terrific away following at Alfredton and at Kings Lynn. I thought they were really good at Kings Lynn in particular. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously they, they've got a part to play with it. They have, uh, and they have done all season. Our way our wife support's been very good. Our home support's been fantastic as well. They've stuck with us through the rough times. Um, but this is what we're in the game for. You know, these special moments now. First playoff final um, in a very, very long time, if not ever. And um, yeah, like I said, we're one game away from the prize and we just want everyone there supporting us, there and back at the ground and wherever they'll be watching it. And hopefully we can do it for them. Final point, I'm guessing any little niggles at this stage miraculously clear up from individual players. Everybody wants to be part of this, but are you okay squad-wise? Yeah, you? we're okay. I'm, I'm sure if there is any niggles, they're not going to tell me anyway. It's one of those things now. Um, we've wrapped them up this week and um, they'll, they'll be ready to go Sunday afternoon.